This video is very disturbing. This is Tasha K. Now watch how she tries to convince Woe Vicky to turn her back on the Lord. Watch this. You are God. Oh, no, nah, I'm not. Why? I'm just not God. Why are you not God? Do you not think you're worthy? Oh, I am worthy, but I'm not God. But what if I truly told you that there is research to back up that you are God? I'm not God. So you don't, you don't believe that you have the power to move your life the way that you want it moved? Yeah, by following it. God, by following God, I do. I'm not the one that's going to say, yeah, come up here or go down there. I'm not God. Let me give you some background information. This young lady name is Wo Vicky. She's a model. With that being said, recently she gave her life to the Lord. But Tasha K has a problem. So she decided to use her podcast to try to deceive this young lady to believe that she's a God. Who does that sound like? It sounds just like the serpent in the Garden of Eden. When he told Eve, if you eat of this tree, you shall become as gods. So it's obvious that the prince of the world is manifesting through Tasha K. And just like the adversary, if he can't get you one way, he will try to get you another way. Now listen to what Tasha K says in this video clip. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of strong contradictions in the Bible. I'm not here to challenge your like faith. Your, your faith is your spiritual, mm -hmm. is your spiritual relationship with God. But, you know, a book is another thing. Mm -hmm. The word of God is the truth. It's not just the book, but I realize something diabolical is manifesting through her. And the ungodly, they lost their own. They're not going to be happy that you serve the most high. As you can see, she can't stand the fact that, whoa, Vicky, she talks about the Lord. And she'd rather see this young lady in bondage than to see her liberated. That's a diabolical spirit. I want y'all to understand that the adversary doesn't have feelings. He doesn't care about how many people he leads into bondage. Just think about if whoa, Vicky would have came into agreement with Tasha K. It would have been destructive. And I guarantee you, Tasha K wouldn't have felt bad about it. See, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And when people come into agreement with the prince of the air, he plant corrupt seeds within their heart. And before long, they lose conscience and they no longer care about who they lead into bondage. Does it seem like Tasha K was concerned about this young lady's soul? Tasha K, she doesn't care because she's an unbeliever and the prince of this world has blinded her eyes from seeing the truth. But if Tasha K refused to repent, one day she going to realize that she made the worst decision of her life. Brothers and sisters, be not deceived. God bless you.